Do you want a quick and easy way to apply your makeup? Today I'll be sharing with you some makeup hacks that will completely save your life and will save you a lot of time as well. So let's get into it. So the typical way we usually apply our makeup is starting with foundation and then going in with concealer. But we have to come back to blend the concealer's harsh lines with foundation before setting it with setting powder. So instead of using foundation first, a quick and easy way to apply it will be to start with concealer first, blend it out, and then go in with foundation. While you're applying foundation, you want to use the applicator to blend out the concealer harsh lines. This will save you a lot of time because you'll be killing two birds with one stone. Instead of going back and forth with foundation and concealer, concealer so as you can see on both sides the concealer and foundation look the same both are well blended but it's just that this side took me a shorter time to blend this is really convenient if you're looking to do your makeup a little bit quicker if you have oily skin sometimes the makeup might not last long if you don't set it really well with powder you have to take a lot of time to make sure that your makeup is set by packing powder all over your skin to make sure that it won't get oily but an easy way to make your makeup last longer and would be easier than packing on a lot of powder on your skin is mixing translucent setting powder with your foundation this will give the foundation more coverage and it also gives it a matte finish so you don't have to spend so much time using powder to set your skin of course you still want to use setting powder but you won't have to use that much and it's really great if you get oily on your t-zone area so as you can see on the left side my foundation is set with a lot of powder and on the right side I added powder on top of foundation but both sides look the same but the right side was quicker and easier and the foundation holds on longer so I know sometimes contour can be a little bit challenging especially as a beginner because you have to know where to place the contour you have to know how to place it based on your face shape and also it can be a little bit intimidating a very easy way to practice contour is to use a brush as a guide to where you should place the contour so you want to place it right underneath your bone structure but stopping halfway so you can blend it out so this can save you a ton of time by guiding you on where the contour should be so you don't place it below your bone structure where you would have to clean it up with reverse contour as you can see on my left side I place a little bit below my bone structure so I have to clean it up with a little bit of concealer to make sure that the contour is nice and sharp compared to this side where I use a brush as a guy and it just automatically prevented me from applying it below my bone structure so typically we would apply bronzer before applying blush so we would apply the bronzer right on top of the contour then go in with blush right on top of that bronzer and then just blend them together so they look nice and seamless but instead of doing that an easy way to apply bronzer is using a blush shade that mimics a bronzer so it gives your skin a sun-kissed look but it's a blush at the same time because it still has that colorful pigment so the one that I really really like is this iconic London sheer blush so this has like a nice rich color so with this hack you want to make sure that you're using a cream blush because they're usually easier to apply and you can apply them with your fingers and blend them out with a beauty sponge which will make it quicker as you can see this side I used bronzer and blush but on this side of my face I only used a blush that looks like a bronzer and a blush which gives me almost the same look sometimes we can be a little bit heavy-handed when it comes to applying blush because it can be like really flattering on the skin that we end up using too much so when you apply too much blush on your skin don't use a makeup remover to remove the blush and then apply it again instead you want to use a liquid sheer foundation on your foundation sponge and just lightly go over the foundation to evenly distribute it this will get rid of the excess pigment of the blush and will make it look really natural on your skin so as you can see on this side, I used a makeup remover to wipe off the blush. Then I had to add even more blush on top of it to cover up that patch that I removed. But on this side, I used a sheer foundation on top of the blush, which helped to dim it down and made it look really nice and natural. And this can also work for powdered blushes or if you're using cream or liquid blushes. So for nose contour, I would usually use the product that I use to apply contour on my skin. And I'll place that on my nose bridge. 
and then blend it out and then i would have to go in with concealer to clean it up so that you know they both look really nicely transitioned and give a seamless look but instead of doing that to save a little time i like to use whatever i used as a bronzer or a cream blush all over my nose area and then i like to just go in with concealer on the areas that i want to lighten up which is on the bridge of the nose and then on the sides and then i just use a sharp tip of a beauty blender to blend it out so this will look more natural it save you a lot of time so i know somebody asked for a tip for an easy way to nose contour and that's a really easy way for me so you don't spend a lot of time really trying to structure and draw out the nose contour so it looks like perfect all right so this next hack will literally blow your mind if you've never heard about it the eyeliner hack so if you have hooded eyes or hooded eyelids then you know applying eyeliner is sometimes a struggle because we have that extra skin on the eyelid area that prevents the eyeliner from looking straight so instead of drawing the eyeliner like this where the creasing of my eyelids affects the angle of the eyeliner making it look a little bit crooked when i look straight i like to first start by placing a small dot where the hood of my eye ends on the outer part of my eye then i like to drag the eyeliner out starting from the inner portion to the outer portion and connect it with a dot completely avoiding the hood of my eyelids so this is a little bit easier and faster because it creates a straight eyeliner look that isn't affected by the creasing of the eyelid and it also gives a guide on drawing out your eyeliner but if you want to learn how to create a really quick and easy makeup look with no foundation then don't ignore this video right here so this video is a no foundation makeup tutorial that can be easily achieved every day KLJ, welcome to a channel where it's 